upon her. She covets only one thing, Lord, and that is that you'll be close to her, that you'll strengthen her, and you'll be everything that her hearts desire. So, Lord, we just look to you and ask that this occasion may be significant to all of us as we share in it. Give us your wisdom, Lord. Give us your strength. Give us your courage. We ask all of these things in the name of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. Irene has two sons, 
and a daughter and four grandchildren. This ceremony is a family affair for Harry, as a daughter is heir and also a son from Canada. It's a pity that a son from the USA cannot attend, but no doubt there will be photos sent. Another big part of her life is her church, of which she's a devout follower. I'm sure that Irene will do a fine and successful job in promoting and representing our town, as did all those in the past. It's now my duty to propose that Irene Faye be the crew town mayor for the year 2013-2014 under the Local Government Act 1972, as this parish council has elected to call itself the town council and that the chairman assumed the title of town mayor by so move.
Madam Bodu Fashemi, having been duly elected to the office of town mayor of the council of the town of Kuro, declare that I take that office upon myself and will duly and faithfully fulfill the duties of it according to the best of my judgment and ability. I do undertake to apply the code as to the conduct which is expected of members of Kuro Town Council. This I do declare.
by congratulating Madam Mayor, my friend Ari, the first Black Mayor for Kirk, what an honour it is to serve with her. I, Damien Bailey, Crew Town Councillor for the Prairie's Ward, would formally like to propose Councillor Margaret Peggy Martin to be Deputy Mayor for the coming year. Not only is Peggy one of my colleagues, she's also one and has been so now for a friend of the <coughs> A friend with qualities that I aspire to recognise within myself. This starts with honesty and integrity. And then there's that Peggy Martin phrase, she used to always reel off to me, and still does in meetings, that it's about the people and the communities that you are there to serve. And there are two interesting words, people and communities. So what Peggy does is she connects with the community, she talks up for the people within those communities, and she herself is very much a part of her community. She's done a wonderful job over the last year exercising the office of mayor, and I know she'll continue her good work going forward supporting Gary over the next year. In the last 12 months, she's had a somewhat difficult time. She's lost her husband Bill and recently her son. But to be fair, I think it's a testament to her character that she's here today doing what she does best. And that is, of course, smiling and being a friend to so many of us like she's done for so many years. And, of course, she's up to her old tricks. What are, what are those old tricks? Well, it's very simple with Margaret. It's about talking up the people of Crook, talking about our town, putting our town on the agenda. And what an honour it is to serve with her. Hence, as the youngest Crook Town Councillor, <laughs> I am more than honoured to propose Councillor Margaret Martin to be ne Deputy Mayor for the forthcoming year for Crew Town Council. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Madam Mayor. There's some uh, lovely cards and messages for you. Just so 
Wrexham Highlights Week. To Aaron, many congratulations, you're a star. The very best wishes from Stephen and Laura Hodgson. Congratulations, Aaron. Have a great year. <laughs> Oh, this one's an MS badge, is that? Another congratulations card and best wishes, and congratulations on becoming mayor of the crew 2013 and 14. We hope you have a happy and successful year. Best wishes from Brian Sylvester and Sheila Davis. Lots of love and Mr. Mr. Nadio Colorado and family. Councillor Irene Fazay, you are proof that dreams and possibilities are endless when you believe in yourself. May the good Lord grant you the wisdom you required to manage this new post. Amen. Much success and enjoy your achievements. Congratulations on your ordination. Look for Lomi. Um, dear Irene, well done in becoming the first mayor of Crew Town Council. It's indeed an historic day for you and the town. You and your family have chosen well, and it's a good choice. I wish you and the mayor would see guess for the fourth municipal year. I'm sorry I couldn't attend today, but you're in my thoughts and in my heart. The best wishes from Roy and Julie Cartledge from all the family. And finally, finally, congratulations on your big day. Enjoy every minute. Best wishes from Mark. Uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody, and I want to apologize for the list start. I'm probably going to have Cheshire East for this because they had a strategic meeting here that went on and on and on. And on. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I actually had to drive them out, so I'm very sorry that we started a little bit late, but I know you will bear with me. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, if you please join me at the end of this for just small entry, just a little bit, and I want to thank you very much for honoring me. I'm undeserving, but thank you. And I pray that I work hard for the power of proof and for even our neighbors. And um, I want to send a message to the youngest councillor, mayor in the in the country, uh, councillor George Hayes. Unfortunately, he isn't here today, but he's been well represented. He's the youngest one and I attended his mayor meeting about two weeks ago in Congleton. So thank you very much, everybody, for coming. Thank you for your love. Thanks.
Kiss me. about why you're here, yes. uh, including your name, please. Uh, my name's Peter, Peter Davis. I'm the pastor of West Street Christian Fellowship, where Irene is, uh, att attends and worships the Lord Jesus. Just want to pass on my congratulations. I'm just so pleased. Irene, you're a wonderful lady, a real lady of God. Uh, I thank you for your hard work. I thank you for your care. I thank you for the massive encouragement whenever I hear you pray. Thank you for your principles, and I think today's a great day for crew. And uh, please be assured of our love and our constant prayers for you as you serve the people of crew, and of course, ultimately serve our Lord and Saviour, Jesus. Amen. Perfect. Excellent. Oh, that's perfect. Right. Okay, so I'm going to take a few, and then I'm going to take a few back. Everyone looking this way? Here we go. Okay, so take a few, so keep smiling. <laughs> One more, I think that's right. Right, just a second. One, two, three, all same selling beers. Hello, Councillor. Would you like to tell our viewers your name and um, why you are here today? Hello, my name's Damien. I'm the youngest town councillor on Crew Town Council. Um, we're here in Crew at the municipal buildings for the mayor making. We're here for Irene Faisai, who is the new mayor of Crew and the council. It's a great honour to be here with Irene because she's a great lady. It's an historic moment for Crew. We've got our first black mayor, and knowing Irene like I have for the past couple of years, it's been a great honour to serve with her. She cares deeply about community and the people she represents. So being with Irene today, seeing her being inducted as the mayor, it's been a great honour and a privilege to be here. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Hello, my name is Jeffrey Willett. 
this is my wife Sandra. I was the minister of Western Baptist Church for 35 years, where we got to know Irene very well. I had the privilege of going to her daughter's wedding uh, at Kaduna, and that was a really wonderful experience for us. And for Irene to be mayor in Crewe is absolutely wonderful. And we're thrilled about it. We're sure that this year is going to be significant, not just for Irene, but for the whole town and for our community. So we're thrilled about this. It's a new day and we're really grateful. Yeah, my name is uh, Funcho Baladuro. Uh, I'm really, really very proud of Mommy Irene. Uh, she's our mommy here. The first uh, Africa mayor in this town. That is wonderful. We're so, so proud of her. I'm so, so pleased for today. I'm just sharing myself all with the wife. So I can't wait to, to celebrate even more. Uh, what's a what achievement for us in this town? What an achievement? I'm really, really proud. I myself, I'm a local entrepreneur, so I, I run a little businesses here. Uh, we, we Nigerian community, especially Afro community, we, we're very small in number, but we're very, uh, quite very, uh, we're into different things. We've got professional doctor, different, different, different things. And uh, mommy and Anina, once again, I'm really, really very proud of uh, for our team. Today I consider that this is history in the making. I consider that we have gone on a road that was not even. But we have been there. We have proved ourselves. We have worked and we have gained the confidence to enter into the political space and to claim our part in politics. Today I hope that we will continue on that uneven road. Today I hope that we will be seen as an integral part of this nation, that we are able people and that our contribution is as worthy as any other. Today is history. Today I'm humble and I'm great and I'm proud. Uh, my name is Anulu Fashi and I come from Nigeria. Uh, I'm from actually Kaba and um, I came to England some years ago. I first had my training at the UCH in Ibadan and came over here to Hull to study midwifery. Worked several in a few hospitals and then I got a job in Saudi Arabia where I spent 10 years and after that I came back again to London. But coming back from Saudi Arabia to London was like coming from coming back to a jungle. So I decided with my family that London was off the map for us. And then with, this, with my children, we decided crew, because we always changed that crew if we went on holidays. Uh, and that's how I came to crew. And I've worked here for several years, and I decided to join the community. I went into the Labour Party. I was elected. I was elected to be elected as councillor for Cheshire East Borough Council. Uh, and when we fought the trustees, Charter trustees fought desperately to have a town council and that came into being about four weeks ago. I uh, just have the privilege mm. of being elected the first mayor of the new town council. Uh, just a word of advice that I like to say is wherever you live, no matter where you come from, you must get involved. You must help your community. And that is very, very important because no man is, a, is an island. You've got to be with everybody, see where your help is needed, and get involved. Uh, there's this thing about Nigerians. It isn't all of us that do 419. And there are many of us who are quite capable and are willing to uplift the name of Nigeria wherever we find ourselves. Thank you very much. Hi, um, my name is Susan Rockfield. I have a local town councillor. I'm very thrilled to be a town councillor. Um, this is my first official post and I'm also proud to be the mother of the youngest town councillor, Damien. Um, didn't he do a superb job today? I'm so proud of him. Um, he did it all out of his head, he had lived and I was very, very proud. Um, both Madam Mayor Irene and Peggy, the deputy mayor, are big fans of Damien, um, but in return, he has a wonderful women. He loves working with both ladies, and they give him a lot of advice and guidance. And they're, also, they're additional mothers to him, <laughs> shall we say. They don't like it when he smokes, um, but no, they're, they're wonderful mentors for him. Um, and both ladies, Madam Mayor, the 
just stalwarts of our community. They do ever so well both in Cheshire East and now on Crew Town Council. Um, I feel honoured to work alongside both of them. Um, both have different qualities but both at the heart of it really really care about people and their communities and that's really what else could you really want from councillors, mayors, but to care about the people that live in our town? I just want to say, to finalise, um, I'm really looking forward to seeing Irene as the mayor this year. I think she's going to do the town really, really proud. And she's the perfect person to be at the first Blue Town Council Mayor. Uh, my name is Debo. Uh, we visiting crew today just to celebrate with my mom. She's uh, being inaugurated as mayor of crew. Uh, we're highly honored, we're highly honored because uh, crew is a town that is predominantly Caucasian and they deem it fit to make her the mayor, in fact the first mayor in the city, in the town of crew, for a very long time. So uh, we're so excited about today and uh, we are hoping that uh, she will do us proud like uh, my brother said uh, she's the true immigrant, having come here you know, uh, for work, but uh, doors were opened up to her because she made herself available. So that's the thing of pride. We're all very thankful to God and very thankful that uh, today is the day that we're rejoicing. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm um, Adekemi Ujo, I'm the daughter of Irene Ovejide Fashi, the mayor of crew now. Today is her ceremony and we all came to wish her well and to support her in this endeavor. She's, people are calling her the first lady of crew now. And she's also the first lady in our family, the first lady in our lives and she really means a lot to us. She's much more than a mother and uh, I personally couldn't wish for a better mother than Mrs. Fashi. And also, now that I've had my own son, she's also the best grandmother anyone can ever hope or wish to have. And because she has been such a role model in our family and in our lives, and in my life in particular, I know that she'll be a role model in crew. And I know for sure that everything she said and she promised and proposed in her speech, I, I bet she'll do much more than that because she's someone that is a goal setter and she always 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 supersedes what she, she she has promised to do she has a heart of gold and she's a mother indeed and i know that she will bring true a true change for crew just like you said all the time the, in the train when we're on the train they say all change at crew i know that during her time there will be a positive change for crew in all her her cancer is macmillan is uh, cancer and then the poor people and everyone she wants to touch out to, the youth, she has a heart for everyone. The heart for, for the neonatal, the heart for the elderly, and I know that she will even go beyond that. And uh, we're all here to support her today, and not just today, throughout when she'll be the mayor of crew. Thank you. Okay, my name is uh, Mr. Bella Gale, for the show. I'm here today to the inauguration of I request the mayor of a crew. She has been a very good mom to us in crew, and uh, we are really appreciate all her effort in uh, bringing us all together in crew, to make sure that uh, we are all happy. So that's why we are here to play the inauguration. And, uh, thank, thank you very much. For looking for giving us the great to be in this day, and we know that we live long to enjoy the season of our reign. Thank you. Do you want to say anything, Mrs. Fallashaw? Yes, I'm happy that I witnessed this day. Um, mommy encouraged me to stay in crew. I knew her as a um, a senior nurse in Cypress Court from 2004 and since then 
She's been so lovely to me and my family. And um, I have never regret any advice she's given to me. When she asks me to do anything, and I go ahead doing it, it always ends well. I have the light to, to, to witness today. I'm just too happy. I don't even know what to say. And I pray the Lord grant her the wisdom, the knowledge she required in this new post. Amen.